Okay, we are interested in finding the probability of actually having the disease given that we've tested positive. That's what we ultimately care about. Now the definition of conditional probability tells us that we can calculate that by taking the probability of being diseased and testing positive and dividing by the probability of testing positive. Now all we need to do is use the research, researchers data and to find that the probability of being diseased and testing positive is 44 divided by 137 and the probability of testing positive is uh, 54 divided by 137 which of course reduces to 44 over 54 and if you punch that into your calculator you see that it's 0.81 so you have an 81 percent chance of actually having the disease if you've tested positive um, pretty high uh, now incidentally you might recall that the probability of testing positive given that you had disease was actually 0.65 and I think it's worth noting here it's true here and it's true in general that the probability of having the disease given that you've tested positive is not necessarily equal to the probability of testing positive given that you have the disease.